Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Marcus Levy, The Angry Rancher here for vlog 37 of The Angry Rancher vlog series as we're back in the vlogging chair. <laughs> so, what is on the mind of The Angry Rancher? We just had a walk and talk yesterday. What kind of stuff do I want to talk about today? I do have something. <laughs> and this is um, stemming if you will, from a couple of the earlier episodes where I talked about minimalism. Uh, I think it was 14 and 15. <clears throat> so this one is going to be an impromptu minimalism part three, <clears throat> but I'm just going to talk about a kind of a revamping of a few uh, of a system that I'm sort of creating for myself. <clears throat> so I've been doing as I normally do <clears throat> and was uh, sitting here playing some games uh, on the old Xbox Singular. I just want to make sure we can see that. And, <laughs> and I was uh, listening to the podcast here on, uh, on the iPhone, on the Apple Podcasts app, and I was listening to The Minimalists. And I initially heard them say that they have a friend who, when he wakes up in the morning, says the three things that he's going to spend the day focusing on. And I was like, boom, that's a, fun, that's a great idea. <clears throat> Instead of <laughs> waking up in the morning and not having a direction. Instead, we now have a direction. Three things we're going to focus on. I tried that out for about five or six days, but I kind of felt something was missing. So then I was again listening to the Minimalist podcast. We're now like four or five episodes past that particular piece of advice. <coughs> Just because I started from the beginning. So I think they have like 180 episodes out, and I'm on episode like 26 now. But the... The advice is in the words, not in specifically the fact that I'm listening to a three-year-old podcast. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Point is, they said a number of times <coughs> that it's often difficult when you have, say, I don't know, five things you're passionate about. Some people have a problem uh, where they're like, but I want to be passionate about all these things. <laughs> and they say something to the effect of, well, if we live for 80 years and you start being passionate about something at uh, 20, then and you spend a decade cultivating each passion, it doesn't mean you're giving up after 10 years and going on to the next thing. It just means you've basically mastered this one thing so it becomes inherent. And so you should spend your time cultivating one thing and then in 10 years pick another thing and then pick another thing and pick another thing. <clears throat> I agree with some of the stuff they say, a lot of the stuff they say, but there's some things I just don't agree with. And I don't agree with that because <clears throat> what if all of those pieces together – because of the way your life is, you want to experience the best of all worlds. So what I've done for myself personally <laughs> is taking a look at five things that I enjoy and am passionate about. Uh, it's a mix of enjoy and passionate about. So I've got writing, reading, video games, watching movies and television, and then some witchy pagany stuff. So what I've decided <laughs> is on a daily five-day rotation, starting with tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm going to start from the top of the list, which is writing. And now, of course, the first day that I get to do all these things, which is the next five days, is going to be what sets the tone for how I'm going to approach each of these things. <clears throat> but essentially, starting tomorrow... I'm going to rotate through these five things in the exact order I just listed them. <laughs> and I'm going to make that the sole focus of what I really want to accomplish within that given day. Um, doing things like exercising, hanging out with friends, and all of that will be wedged in. But the day itself is focused around this, like, w when it comes to leisure time or uh, when I specifically want to work to get some stuff done, it will be worked around this particular thing. So, for example, let's use tomorrow. So, I work a 12-hour shift starting at midnight. I'm doing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back 12s this weekend. <clears throat> so, you guys will get your uh, weekend episodes of the Angry Rancher Show around this particular time in the day, which is why I kind of want to do this one now. So, the next three appear at roughly the same time. <coughs> so, with tomorrow being writing, okay, 
That doesn't mean that I can't take a break from the writing to read a book, or I can't <clears throat> play a little bit of one of my handhelds uh, at work uh, to take a break. But that just means, <laughs> and this is kind of the what I'm leaning towards, <laughs> is if I have, um, <clears throat> I would say in a 12-hour shift, <laughs> I can probably find eight or nine hours where, unless unless I have a lot of active stuff to do, I'm kind of just sitting in the office. So I can take that time to do three to six hours of personal writing. Doesn't sound so bad. <clears throat> Maybe start uh, just like rough drafting, like getting my head into the game <clears throat> by typing a short story or something, <laughs> or some poetry or something, and then get into the book uh, that I'm trying to write, which is titled the uh, Anti-Judgmentalism Handbook, and I'll talk a lot more about that later. It's a philosophical piece that I'm working on. <laughs> um, but spend a good amount of time within the 24-hour period of midnight May 18th to 11.59 p.m. May 18th doing that. I think that's fantastic. And then the gear switches. Now it's Sunday. So Sunday for my 12-hour shift, I spend three to six, I spend six hours minimum reading. Three hours reading Harry Potter, which is back there on the table. And then three hours reading an ebook that I've started because I have two books on the go. <laughs> Doesn't mean I can't take a break from it to do some of the other stuff, but that's the plan. Then, on Monday, <laughs> during the 12 hour, I'm going to charge up my handhelds, make sure that my Game Boy has good batteries in it, pack those in the bag, and uh, give each of those their own amount of time. And it would be the same thing if I were here at home. I would pick a console, play it for about three hours, and then play something else. But going out and walking, or getting out on my longboard, or <clears throat> going to hang out with my friends... It counts as an event within the day, but that day's specific focus would be this particular thing. My, uh, Tuesday, uh, it will be watching stuff, so I can finally get back into watching Netflix, Crave, uh, Amazon Prime Video, and uh, a few YouTube premium shows that I've been starting to try to get into. It's been literally, I think, like two months since I've watched anything on these because I've just had so much and no real structure to it. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to um, the TV day, that'll be that. I will pick a few episodes of something from Netflix and a few episodes from Crave and a few episodes from uh, Amazon Prime and uh, a couple episodes of the show of a show on YouTube or something, and just break it up within the free time that I have. And then, of course, on the witchy day, I'll pick a book from the library. I will get writing in my Book of Shadows, stuff like that. Uh, that stuff's mostly personal, but it is a thing that I need to work in there because it's a thing that I want as a daily practitional thing. And as I said, it doesn't mean that I can't take a break from any of these other things and... <laughs> like, like, I can't take a break from reading and play some games or something. I absolutely can. But it just means that the set way that the day is going to go about will be focused on that thing. That way, everything at least once a week gets some attention. <laughs> that way, <laughs> I'm not leaving a book unattended for two weeks because I'm just focusing on playing video games, or I'm not leaving a video game unattended because I've been reading so much these past few weeks, or so I'm not leaving that stuff unattended for months at a time because, well, I'm doing other things and it's not a part of my life as much as I would like. So I gotta make it a part of my life. That's how you do it. <laughs> and of course, the, the five-day rotation will mean within a set, within a period of a, like, Monday to Sunday, two events will get to happen twice within the week. So, like, for example, this coming week, right? Um... Monday's TV and movies, <coughs> Tuesday witchy stuff, <laughs> Wednesday writing, uh, that's Wednesday writing, then uh, reading on Thursday, video games on Friday, then for the second time in the week, uh, we hit TV movies on the Saturday and witchy stuff on the Sunday, 
and then the new week happens starting with the first thing and then the first and then of course writing will get repeated on the saturday and reading on the sunday and boom everything gets rotated through sometimes twice a week often once <laughs> and having five things gives me a chance that if let's just say i'm super busy one day <laughs> and i know i won't have an opportunity to do much like i won't be have an opportunity to sit down for four hours and read because let's just say Let's take June 10th as an example. So far, June 10th is the date that I have right now for when the squad and I are going to be hitting the golf course. And of course I'm going to vlog it. You are damn right I'm going to vlog it if that's what you're thinking. <clears throat> so let's say June 10th is reading. Uh, I know I'm not going to have a lot of time during the day to do reading. So I will read before bed. That'll be the thing I will do before I go to bed. Same with writing or watching TV or video games or witchy stuff. You know? <laughs> how do you guys manage your passions <laughs> comment those below <laughs> and uh <laughs> ring the bell and subscribe and smash that like button uh let's try to get us up to 10 subscribers i need one more for 10 subscribers and then i can sort of <clears throat> i'm gonna create a milestone intro video because it's a mini milestone but it would change my channel intro video from vlog zero to a new video that's the plan. <laughs> then I set another marker. <laughs> All right. Check me out on Instagram at the Angry Rancher 2019 on Twitter, Levy underscore Marcus, and check out the Angry Rancher show on SoundCloud, Spotify, and iTunes. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. Peace.